Hello there, uh, my name's Hugh Della and I, along with Andrew Walkley, my, my co-author, I co-run the www.lexicallab.com site. Uh, I've decided I'm going to start trying to do weekly little videos just based on questions that people send me um, or questions that come up in classes or workshops that I've been involved in. And today's video is really something I was thinking about during the summer course. Uh, the last two weeks of our Lexical Lab summer course that we ran in August, we ran a course called English Boost Advanced, and we had eight really lovely advanced level students on there. And they all spoke very good English, but were looking to improve their vocabulary, to try to maybe sound a bit more informal, to try to deal with informal spoken English in a bit more detail. And they were very perceptive and observant of the language around them. One day, one of the students came in and said, can I just ask a quick question? What does yait mean? And I asked again, well, what do you think this word is? And she said, well, it, it's something like yait. Okay, I said, I've no idea. I've never heard this before. What was the context in which you heard it? And she said, oh, well, I was talking to someone in the street and they helped me with something. And I said, thank you very much. And they said, yait. Okay. And this made me laugh because it's quite a common pronunciation, actually, when I when I hear it in that kind of context, particularly maybe in London and the southeast of England, for you're all right. And I think there was a kind of double problem going on with this, partly because this particular student hadn't realised that you're all right is a common response to thank you or thanks very much. Because presumably from course books and from more kind of formal English language classes, you learn things like, thank you, you're welcome. Okay, maybe you learn, thank you, no problem or no probs. Probably you don't learn that a common informal response to thank you is you're all right. So you've got that linguistic problem. But then on top of that, you've got the pronunciation problem of knowing that you're all right will often be pronounced as yeah. It, and we were talking then about the use of the word all right um, and how common it is actually just in normal everyday informal English. I'd never thought about it before, but as we were discussing it, I suddenly realised that for a lot of the people I, I see in the street, people that I would say I'm acquainted with, people who live in my area or live on my street, who I say hello to, but I don't know very well, I might see them in the street on the other side of the road in the morning as I'm wandering around. And I might just hold my hand up and go, hey, you all right? Yeah, all right. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, good. Thank you. And that that's basically the conversation you have. The question that I'd ask them is, hey, you all right? And we then got on to sort of thinking about, well, why doesn't this stuff appear in course books? And why isn't it taught? And I'm not necessarily sure that it really should be explicitly taught. Uh, I think because it is possibly class based, it's probably regionally based, uh, it's probably more common in kind of slightly lower middle class sort of southeast England environments. Um, I don't think it should necessarily be explicitly taught. I think things like you're welcome go a long way and for students operating in a kind of international environment they're fine. No one would blink if you said you're welcome. At the same time it's nice just to know that these things exist. And so for me, maybe as a course book writer, um, it would be nice if you could just include a little kind of response like that in maybe an upper intermediate or an advanced level dialogue. And you could just have it there. It could just be in a listening. Uh, it could be two friends and they're stopping and they're saying, hey, how you doing? You're all right. Yeah, not bad. Thanks. How are you? Or it could be someone saying, oh, thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. No, you're all right. Go on. Don't worry about it. And you could have those little extra responses just as something that's there that the teacher who wants to pick up on uh, these kind of things could make something more of, or not. Um, it could just be something that's left there receptively, that could be implicitly learned, or it could be something that a teacher could choose to make more of. Okay, that's the video for today. Um, if you do have any questions or any peculiar things that you'd like addressed, feel free to put them in the comments under this video or to send me a private message. And hopefully every week I'll be doing one of these and talking about language and teaching and culture. Thanks very much and do remember to check out the website, 